Lifeline now, a fast-growing but misunderstood heart condition that is threatening the lives of millions but doesn't have to if it's diagnosed and treated early. Here is NBC News chief science correspondent Robert Bazell. Not long ago, Rohini Perrick's heart disease got so bad she could not climb these stairs in her house. She remembers waking her husband, up terrified. Him up. And I say, you know, I cannot breathe. Perrick has a condition called heart failure. It is the fastest growing type of heart disease, already affecting 5 million Americans. The incidence expected to triple in the next few years. Still, many patients have never heard of it. I tell them that their heart is weak, and they, they say, well, does that mean it's a heart attack? And they don't understand it, so it is, uh, it is commonly misconceived. Heart failure is a progressive weakening of the heart muscle that occurs over years and often leaves the patient exhausted and disabled. It can be caused by an infection or genetic disorders. But most often, it is a process that begins with a heart attack or clogged arteries damaging a tiny portion of the heart. Procedures like angioplasty and bypass surgery alleviate symptoms from the clogged arteries or heart attack, but they do nothing to stop the slow, ongoing damage of heart failure. We've done such a good job saving the lives of patients who have heart attacks and other cardiac disorders. Now they're surviving, but they're surviving with impaired hearts. The good news is that if it is diagnosed early, heart failure can often be treated with medications called ACE inhibitors and beta blockers, both relatively inexpensive. Still, studies show that fewer than half the patients are getting the drugs. Experts say they should demand them. They should go to their physicians and they should ask, why am I not taking drugs? that will have a major impact on my disease. Rohini Perrick has experienced enormous improvement with the medication. And doctors say so can millions more if they are diagnosed early and treated properly. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York. We'll be right back with some city kids hitting a baseball a country mile.